You know, Rapid Weaver from Real Mac Software is a great website builder, but sometimes it just doesn't do the job right. It just can't perform simple tasks like importing images and repositioning them wherever you want. In my opinion, Rapid Weaver doesn't have that much flexibility or customizability for your website. To many, this is impossible, but for MacBoy, nothing is impossible. That's why today I'm going to be showing you how to import images to Rapid Weaver and reposition them anywhere you want on your page. This is a great way to enhance your website. So what I've done here in Rapid Weaver is uh, just open up a small theme with an untitled style text page. And uh, let's say you want a small logo beside the banner or the title of your website. So here I have the banner, web, my website, and you want a small logo or image right beside that. Now it won't allow you to do that in the page uh, inspector in the general tab where you can replace your title with some text. It won't allow you to enter an, enter an image, so that's a problem. But you really want a logo right about where my mouse your cursor is. The alternative or the solution to this problem is by using the sidebar tab in the inspector window right here. This is where you're gonna import your images and then reposition them from there. So here I have a small proud Mac user uh, GIF file. And this is what I import. I want to import as my logo. So all you have to do is you have to find the file on your hard drive, click, hold, and drag it right into that window in the sidebar tab, and it, it inserts automatically. Now, just to on the safe side, to be on the safe side, just make sure you're on the styled text option instead of the HTML option. The styled, check that off. There you go. And automatically, as you can see, the Proud Mac user sticker or that logo has been inserted in that website. Now. You have it there, all you have to do is reposition it. This is what you need to do. In the description of this video, you will find some text in which you need to enter to reposition this image. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click on the image in the sidebar tab. This will bring up the media inspector and click in the little text field where it says alt text. So make sure the cursor is flashing uh, after you've clicked it. What you need to do is you need to copy and paste the text from the sidebar. And the text looks a little something like this. All right. The text is a small code that basically tells this image, which you've double clicked on, to move where you want it to go. So you, what you have here are four properties. Top, left, bottom, right. What I usually fiddle around with to move this image is the top and the right properties. So what it's telling you essentially is you want this image, negative 200 pixels, from the top. So let's see, let's move it around. Let's have it 200 pixels instead of negative 200 pixels. So as you can see, the Proud Mac user's logo comes right down there. Now you don't want it there, you want it beside the banner. Let's move it up a little bit. Let's uh, put it 50 pixels from the top. Still too much. 10? No. This is where you're gonna have to go into the negative. Uh, let's try 90. Nope. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep trying until this fits your need. Right about there is fine. And then you go to the, to the right property and you can change it from there. So instead of negative 400, let's change it to negative 200 and it is right beside that banner. That is basically how you need to reposition that image. And it's as simple as that, just figuring out the different pixels you wanna change for each image. Don't worry guys, it's not that hard. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy peasy lemon squeezy. And that's essentially it, just importing and repositioning your images in Rapid Weaver from Real Max Software. Thank you very much for watching. Again, this has been MacBoy from MacBoy Productions. And guys, over there to the right of this video, you will find the text that you need to complete this process. You will find my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Once again, thanks a lot for watching every single one of you. I'll see you all next time right here on MacBoy Productions.